Greetings guys, this is Dograft and today I am back. After a month of not uploading a video to my channel, I am finally back. And the reason that I haven't uploaded a video is just has been school. Of course, the story has been told so many times. School in this year, the fifth year of high school is just extremely busy. I wasn't able to play World of Tanks for... Um, one month so I didn't even have time to make a video beside that anyways now I have got autumn holidays and um, I finally was able to play world of tanks again and the first two games I played in world of tanks this afternoon after a month of playing were just ridiculous the first game you're going to see today in the Panzer 1c and tomorrow I will upload a video about the OI experimental the tank that uh, <laughs> yeah, I have also made a video about a uh, month or so ago. So you're going to see a video about that. Both games were extremely ridiculous. They were just ridiculous. This game is going to have the most games I've ever gotten in a game. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Although it's tier 3 and tomorrow you're going to see a great performance by me in the OI experimental and the games happened just after each other I can't tell you guys enough and this is true I'm not speaking out of my backside here the games happened just after each other and the game I'm going to show you really was the first game I was playing in a month of World of Tanks of, in the month of not having will played World of Tanks so I'm going to show you the replay now the results I got in this game were absolutely ridiculous. So I hope I've sparked your interest enough in this watching this video. So I'm going to let you know. Greetings guys, this is Dokraft and Ali. I'm back. I am back after a month of not uploading a single video to my channel. I really should apologize, but I'm not going to. <laughs> yes, indeed. Guys, school was just too busy. I know the story has been told before, but this time school has been very, 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 very busy indeed. And I just wasn't able to play World of Tanks once in a month. So that's why I wasn't even able to make a video. Anyway, now I've got holidays, the autumn holidays, and these were the first games I played. Actually, this was the first game I played this afternoon, and... Um, I was playing together with my friend Yogurt, as you can see at the moment. And I said, okay, I haven't played World of Tanks in a month, so I would like to build up the tiers with you. So we started at tier 3. He chose his BT-7 artillery, a tank that I unfortunately haven't got. So I chose to drive my Pencil 1C, a tank that I haven't driven in a very, very long time. So I decided, okay, let's just play game I have to build up the tiers again to see how it goes this was my very first game again <laughs> I'm highlighting that again I'm putting emphasis on that a lot this was the first game I played in a month of World of Tanks but anyway as you can see we've got a great matchup for the pencil 1c a tier 3 maximum game so this is just going to be an absolute slaughter for this tank and already I have picked up three kills casual you know, this thing is just ridiculous. If you don't know what the Panzer 1C is, you really have to get yourself one. This is a very quick German Tier 3 light tank with, as you can see, a very big clip capacity. It is just able to kill Tier 3 tanks in one clip. But now let's focus up more on the action. There is three enemy tanks coming in on the hill that we have taken on the map mines. As you can see... I am hull down, so I am exposing the least of my tank as I can. I have put a lot of good damaging shots into those tanks, but they have also put me down to a one shot. So I have got to be careful here. So, what I want to do, I don't want to lose the hill. These guys are easily capable of getting the hill if they all drive up at the same time. So, what I want to do, I want to take them down as cleanly as I can. How can I do that, exposing the least of my tank as possible? So the other side of this hill where I was uh, positioned uh, uh, 10 seconds ago wasn't the right position. So what I chose to do is go around and now I've got 
all of these guys unexpected me here. Not expecting me. Putting shoved after round after round into them. And I killed the two da most dangerous tanks. And the Pencil I see is a one shot. And he is dead now as well. And already I'm up to a top gun. So guys, what the hell. I'm already up to end. That guy shows his side armor. But of course, why wouldn't you... Why wouldn't you show your side to me? Well now, I've got seven kills. <laughs> seven kills. And it's one versus three. So, that guys know that I'm here. So, what I do, I'm going to go around. I want to ambush this guy because I fancy not lose more of my health at this moment. So what I do, um, what most people do uh, when they are in this kind of engagement on mines, if they drive back backwards so what I do I go up into these bushes to try and spot him maybe get the ambush on the guy but that does not happen I'm staying here for a little bit thinking that he might drive back but he doesn't so I think okay how am I going to engage this guy I don't want to go at him like this because I'm exposing too much of my tank don't want to do this I wanted to get the jump on the guy and oh there he is I got the jump on him he tries to cover himself behind the wreck, but it doesn't uh, doesn't work. I'm held down, so he's got some really hard shots on his hand to try and kill me. He doesn't succeed. I succeed. But oh god, the Cruiser 3 gets spotted behind me. He puts a shot into me, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to drive this way, but he's of course expecting that as I can see. So when I get unspotted, um, no, when he gets unspotted, I know that I'm unspotted as well. So what I do now, I go the other way around. Uh, to ensure that I get the jump on him because he doesn't know that I'm going this way now He should be confused and he is he's just going the other way and I know that I'm going to get the jump on him So I'm just going to put a shot at him, but now I don't know where the yak pan uh, the, the the panzer jaeger is I thought he was of course camping in the very obvious base camping position here But the cap siren tells me enough. I know where he is so I'm going to stand in these bushes here I spot him I want to fire it in without getting spotted, so I pull back behind the push. But unfortunately, I don't know if, if he's got six cents or if he just uh, felt like he was spotted. <coughs> and he gets covered behind the bunker there. So what I do, I just want to get the reset off, so I fire my entire clip on his yeah, very tiny um, yeah, gun shield there. I get the shot off, so I... Yeah, I took the shot and I reset the cap. So now I have got all the time that I need to attack him from another position. What most people would do is try to attack from the same position. But of course you saw he was hiding behind a bunker. So there was no point for me to try and engage him from that position anymore. So I want to try and surprise him. He's a pretty alright player. He's yellow according to XVM. Doesn't mean anything special of course. But at least I know that he's played a good number of games. And he does know how World of Tanks works. <coughs> Unfortunately, uh, I don't really get the jump on him. He kind of expects me or he spots me earlier than I spot him. So, uh, he's pretty advanced player. So, I think that he is expecting me to go the other way around. So, what I do, I'm going to engage from the same angle. Of, yeah, the same side, but a just a different angle. So... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do now, because I think that he's going to expect me to drive around the whole way and trying to get him from the other side. So what I do, well, like I just told you, I'm going to engage him from just a different angle. So uh, I thought there were going to be some bushes here or some hold down locations. Unfortunately, they're not. But there's a rock right here, so I decide to use this as my cover. I tried to spot from this position. Maybe he's driven around in the cap circle, but he uh, hasn't. It looks like it at least. I don't spot him and I get yeah, scared so I pulled back. I didn't want to risk getting shot because of course he can destroy me in one shot. I have to empty my whole magazine into him. But now I am stuck behind this rock. I wait until he gets unspotted and I can get the jump on him. But I don't spot him. But I do some blind shots and they go and, and I take the bloody kill. Guys, this is just ridiculous. 10 kills and the Panzer 1C in uh, how many minutes? 7 minutes or so. What the freaking hell. This was the first game I played in a month of World of Tanks. Can you imagine? 
I never expected to get 10 kills, but of course there's no doubt that this was a very, very, very good matchup. I am a pretty alright player in a very, very, yeah, good tank for this tier. So, the odds were very high, but getting 10 kills is not something that you get every day. Particularly me, this was the first time I've ever gotten 10 kills. But it doesn't feel that special to me as this is a tier 3 game only. But of course I'm still happy with this result. Uh, after not having played World of Tanks for a month. And coming back and starting with this kind of result is just ridiculous. So guys, let's take a look at the post game stats of this game. In this game I earned 2188 experience for my double the first win of the day and the first battle in one month and i earned myself over 12,000 credits i got an ace tank a badge a duelist token 5-4 effect token bruiser token and top gun medal and a defender medal and i didn't get a pools medal or a redley walters because you can't get those medals below tier 4. this game was just absolutely ridiculous look at those stats 800 damage done for tier 3 which is a really healthy amount 10 kills the most kills i have ever gotten in world of tanks and 1094 base experience which is also really healthy for a tier 4. I have to, I've got to tell you honestly that I never expected to get such a result in world of tanks anytime soon but it happened in a way I thought I was afraid of it was going to happen it happened in a low tier game of course I don't really mind that much but getting 10 kills uh, fighting against players that might be playing the game World of Tanks just for 30 minutes is just a little bit less satisfying. But the feeling of getting 10 kills is just something special and that you don't get every game in World of Tanks. I've played 12,000 games of World of Tanks for instance and maybe 3.5 years of playing this game and I've never gotten any kill numbers like that before. And then to know that this was the first game of World of Tanks in a month. And I'm saying this so many times but I just can't believe that this was my first game in a month. Anyway guys, I am so happy that I can make another video for you guys. I'm so happy that I can finally make videos again. If you have liked this video, please make sure you leave a like and show your support towards me in the comment section down below. Because I love to read all of your comments. And I'm getting some amazing comments from you and some amazing support. So guys, tomorrow will be the second video as I've told you guys. Hopefully you look forward to that. But for now, that was it. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.